in this video i will discuss about uh, efi that is electric field intensity uh, so consider a q1 uh, test point charge and uh, the force is acting all the four outwards directions an electric field is a region where forces act now consider a q2 that is positive test charge uh, and the distance between uh, q1 and q2 is r uh, and uh, now we have to find efi due to q2 on q1 uh, the resulting resulting force per unit charge is efi to find efi we have this formula uh, that is uh, um, force divided by q2 we know the formula of force that is q1 into q2 unit vector r divided by 4 pi epsilon naught ma magnitude of r square we have to divide it by q for this so q2 q2 get cancelled the final formula remains is q1 unit vector r divided by 4 pi epsilon naught magnitude of r square so this is the formula to find uh, efi so unit is uh, newton per coulomb and uh, uh, q1 is the charge that is in coulomb and r is a distance that is in meters now we will see how to find efi due to several point charges uh, to find the efi uh, see here is a q1 q2 qn these are the point charges uh, applying efi on uh, p uh, and r r1 p r2 p are the distances uh, the total field at point p due to several charges is vector sum of individual component field at that point this means we have to add individual efis uh, due to q1 q2 till qn uh, to get the resultant EFI, we have to add all of them um, individually. Uh, so, resultant EFI becomes um, uh, E1, that is EFI due to Q1. Uh, so, here is the formula, we have to apply that only here. Uh, like that, EFI due to Q2 and so on and uh, r1p is nothing but the distance uh, and unit vector we know how to find unit vector uh, that we will see in uh, the problem we will solve on sum of vec 401 uh, so let's start with the first topic that is uh, coulomb's law uh, coulomb's law states that a force between two charges is directly proportional to the product of the charge magnitude and inversely proportional to the uh, square of distance between them uh, so consider a free space uh, and this is x axis y axis and z axis uh, and consider two charges that is q1 and q2 and uh, q1 is presented at uh, this location uh, these are the coordinates so that is x1 x2 x, x1 y1 z1 and similarly x2 y2 z2 and uh, distance between uh, origin to uh, q1 is r1 and origin to q2 is r2 and distance between these two are these two charges are r1 to uh, so r1 r2 are called uh, um, position vectors so according to the law uh, force is uh, <coughs> force between two charges is directly proportional to the product of the charge magnitudes it means uh, force is directly proportional to the product of the charge that is q1 into q2 and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them that means inversely proportional that means 1 by r r square uh, so it becomes uh, q1 into q2 divided by r square now removing this proportionality sign uh, we can write uh, uh, force is equal to k uh, k into q1 q2 into divided by 
magnitude of r square r is the distance between uh, these two charges and k is constant the constant value is k value is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught the uh, epsilon naught is equal to epsilon naught, epsilon naught is equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r so epsilon naught is equal to uh, is nothing but uh, absolute permittivity uh, this value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 and uh, epsilon r is relative permittivity it is always variable it cannot be constant so epsilon naught value i will substitute here so by substituting that uh, we get 9 9 into 10 to the power 9 so the k value becomes 9 into 10 to the power 9 uh, now in uh, vector form uh, the r12 that is nothing but distance between these two charges is uh, r2 minus r1 and unit vector is uh, uh, small r1 is equal to uh, r12 minus magnitude of r12 we will discuss how to find magnitude of r12 later uh, now this is the final formula we get uh, for, force is equal to q1 into q2 unit vector r12 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught magnitude of r12 square uh, next where q1 q2 is charge magnitude that is in coulomb and uh, r12 is uh, distance between separations uh, that is in the meters and uh, small r12 is a unit vector and epsilon is a permittivity